just wanted to give you a quick overview of the magazines that I purchased while I was in London and show you some of the free stuff because I'm going to challenge myself to create with my free products. So here with the Simply Homemade, which by the way is uh, six pounds UK, I got the magazine, but then I also got these, um, it's a die set, or shall I say it's actually just a single die, um, and you've got some different ideas, so you can make this card tonight. And then of course in the magazine, they've got suggestions on how to use this and other products that they create. Also with this magazine, I got this Love to Color Christmas. Um, so it's kind of cool. These are all holiday designs, Christmassy designs, wintry designs. I don't quite get the uh, cows, but maybe this is like the eight maids and milking kind of thing. But there are a lot of repeating patterns, things that you could cut up and use on cards or uh, as background pages if you wanted to, but I thought that was just kind of fun to do the Christmas coloring on top of it. All right, so then with Papercraft Essentials, which is five pounds UK, this is the set of nesting dies. And um, there's the outline of the poinsettia and then the inside with the little area where you can stencil it to, to give it some color. So it came with um, Paper Crafting Essentials Magazine, which has a lot of great card ideas. And uh, of course, there's a section inside on how to use your pretty dies. There's a lot of adverts, but even the advertisements are kind of nice because it shows you um, different things that you can make. So this next one is Do Crafts, and Do Crafts um, creates a lot of stamps and dies and things like that. So with the Do Crafts kit, I got some designs for decoupage, and these are pre-printed, pre-cut, and then you layer them. And then also this stamp set. So this is pretty sizable. This is about four inches or more in length, maybe five. And then you got Joy Noel for you. You've got a little bird uh, on, a, on a frond. So these are really great. You can totally layer them. Um, seven pieces in all. And um, I think there's four different designs in this, in this layer pack. So that came with the Do Crafts. They even advertise there are 20 cards to get you started in the magazine. And shaker cards are really big over there. Um, mixed media, layering, cards on the whole are the kind of big thing. So here you can see how people use those pre-printed, pre-punched papers to create cards and mini books. Okay, so for Simply Cards and Paper Crafts, uh, which is five pounds, um, this is again, mostly cards. Uh, they've got some ideas though for using your free gifts, which I'll show you in a minute. And they also talk about using digi stamps, so that's kind of unusual. Here though, but a boom is the free gift that came with this. You've got this humongous embossing folder, and then you get the stamp set. So you get kind of this pastoral scene and then a stamp that kind of coordinates. But here's Santa in his sleigh, which would look great in the sky. Um, a little boy pulling a sled with a dog, a deer, some snow, and then these are specifically to make shaker cards. You've got a snow globe, a scene, and then Santa, and then little snowflakes and whatever. So there's a lot, I mean, this to me, if you were gonna buy this in the US, this would be at least 12 to $20, wouldn't you say, for the two things together? And uh, that came free in the kit along with then the instructions on how to use it, which I find really nice because it's like getting a whole class in the bag. So, and here's the, the pages where they show you how to use some of your free gifties. Love it. Okay, so then for paper craft inspirations, this is also five pounds. Um, they have festive ideas, things to do with snowflakes. Um, there, there's a lot of fun step outs and they do give you nice step-by-step -step directions. Like this is kind of a zigzag step-up card and, and they give you all the directions and the pictures, which I like. So this was really kind of a happy find for me. 
Um, this one also gives you paper. Now this is, it feels like magazine paper, but if you were going ahead and using it just like as one layer, um, you could make a whole card out of this obviously, but these are just nice layering papers and they're free and you get all of these kind of retro designs. This is quite lovely, isn't it? And the little, little retro Bambi there, cute, cute, cute. So this nice little section here called Cards for All Occasions are just a quick reference. Now, you'll notice that some of the styling really is different. This does not necessarily look like what we make, but that's kind of the fun is to see what their trends are and then jump off from them. And the free gift in this bag was the embossing folder and foils kit. So it's a three in one embossing folder, six foil sheets in three colors, and then also six card blanks. So, um, Looks like some of them are printed too. Let me go ahead and open. Okay, so these just are the card blanks. Oh, well look at this. They actually give you folded cardstock that's ready to embellish however you want. Look at these. Hmm, interesting. Um, and not a bad weight either. Definitely, you know, not super flimsy. Kind of a lightweight card, but it's a great first base. Hmm. Okay, so I'm looking forward to trying this as well. Okay, so the last one is kind of my favorite. It's Creative Stamping Magazine. Um, and this is six pounds, 99 pence. So uh, figure right now the dollar is about $1.50. So this is more expensive, but um, just chock full of really cool ideas. This to me looks more like what I would see in the United States, a little bit closer to our aesthetic. Um, but great ideas. Now, Scandinavian stamping, rusting chic, very, very big. So, look at the free gift. This is huge. Look at the size of this deer. And this came free with the whole kit. So, you get the Scandinavian heart, which kind of coordinates with that other magazine I bought. You've got all these different um, sentiments and uh, ornaments and pine cones and the Scandinavian stockings. I just love it. I just think it's absolutely stunning. Now, of course, I'm gonna have to, you know, make sure I have a, an acrylic block big enough for this, but it's really, really a great kit to get you started. Um, and then here are some different ideas for designs. I mean, goodness gracious, what more can you ask for? So this is why I love traveling. Uh, you can buy a lot of these in the US at places like Barnes and Noble, but you're gonna pay a premium price. They're gonna be $20 plus each because you're gonna pay uh, in American dollars and then you're gonna have to pay the taxes and the shipping costs, which are, and it's gonna be late. You're not gonna get it in time. But uh, oh, just absolutely love it. Great, great stuff. So next we'll see what I make. Hmm. All right, I've been busy, my fingers are inky, and now let's take a look. So this I used the stamp, and then I used a little bit of um, colored pigment powders to create a resist and a little bit of texture. I think it turned out pretty cute. Love the sentiment, joy to the world. This one I didn't even quite finish yet, but um, I did again use some like color burst powders and some embossing. I think it's a really pretty image. Here I used that fabulous Scandinavian die. And what I did was use the inlay die cutting technique. Make sure you look over here in the um, cards to see more about how to do inlay die cutting, but I think it turned out really cute. Ah, oh, the stag. I really, really love this one. I, and sadly, got a smudge on it. I don't know how I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna try, but um, I really, really like this as well. It's a great image. Here I used one of the embossing folders and I actually embossed it twice. It's hard to see on camera, but this is what says Merry Christmas. And then I used the other die set to create this little 3D poinsettia and this is actually deli paper. So make sure you um, follow along on Periscope because I do a lot of these kind of things live and then you know show the finished results here on YouTube. And then here's another version of that same ornament. I used some of the waste pieces from the Scandinavian dye to help embellish it. And I also used some like glossy accents to really make those ornaments sparkly and shiny. Here's my last one. Uh, I used an embossing folder. It's a little hard to see on camera, but here's that skyline scene. And 
It's a little shaker card. I use some um, mica fragments inside and the Frantage's embossing powder, and I stamped on the back side of the acetate with a stays on pad so it would work. And there you go. So lots of fun. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, and also check the link to the website. I'm going to give some of these cards and some magazines away. Um, this will be before December uh, 2015. So you can enjoy these things in time for the holiday season. The details will be on the blog. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a crafty day.